Hello, good morning, happy Saturday. Welcome to Saturday Talk with Evangelist. Let us pray. Father, Lord, King of Kings, Lord of Lords, thank you for today. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your kindness. Thank you for sustaining us. Holy Spirit, over to you. Let's submit more of you in Jesus' name. Amen. Let us shout a powerful hallelujah to the Lord. Hallelujah. You're welcome to Saturday Talk with Evangelist. And the topic before us is, is flogging a sign that I belong to Jesus? Is flogging a sign that I belong to Jesus? Let's quickly open to the book of Mark chapter 10. Mark chapter 10 verse 30. Mark 10 verse 30. Now, this was when um, the um, apostle Paul asked Jesus, he said, We've left everything. What's our gain? And Jesus answered and said, Verily I say unto you, there is no man that has left house or brethren or still sisters or father or mother or wife or children or land for my sake and the gospel. But shall receive an hundredfold now in this time, houses and brethren and sisters and mothers and children and land with persecutions all in the world, all in the world to come eternal life. Now, it's very clear. The Lord already said that we're going to receive all of this and what persecution will come. What is persecution? Persecution is uh, being attacked because of what you believe in. So, for instance, the disciples were persecuted because of their faith in Christ. So, persecution is based on because you believe or you're a Christian. Um, everybody seems to not want to go with your your what you believe and then they do everything possible to make one frustrated. So that's persecution. And persecution comes with sometimes beating. The disciples were beaten. Sometimes hunger. A lot of things. Arm robbery. In fact, Apostle Paul said it, that he had suffered a lot. So persecution comes with all of this. Thing. And it comes in the package with as a child of God. Now the question I now have is, when we are flogged, does that mean that we are children of God? You know? For instance, there are times I went for evangelism in the past that I was part at. That didn't mean that it reduced me or anything. Anybody that was spitting at me was actually spitting at Jesus, not me. And the spit did not reduce me or increase me. That has been persecuted. Because you don't need to spit at me. If you don't believe what I said, you don't need to spit at me. You could just walk away. So that's part of persecution. So there's a video that is going around now that I'm going to play for us. And it's, it's, it's made me um think... Because there are two aspects to read. And I'm looking at it that what was the message being derived? Is the message being derived that if you flog this person, that the person is ready to go into the world and preach the gospel? So let's look at that video. Let's watch it for some minutes. The Bible says, support, support. The important of us to check the prime minister is to test to know whether you're ready for the ministry. If you are giving me a power, he's not dead. He is not dead. Yes. In that clip we just watched, we'll still watch the remaining part of it. First of all, we're not meant to judge. I'm not meant, I'm not here to criticize, but I just have, uh, because most of these videos, it might just be a short clip. So I don't know whether it's a drama. So maybe it's a drama presentation in the church. 
So let's look at it as a drama. So if it's a drama, they are trying to show that um, you might go through flogging. But if it's not a drama, because I don't see it as a drama, I see the father, even their choice of clothing is a bit weird, but that's fine. So I see the father flogging this young men and this young ladies that brought their <laughs> bomb bomb to be flogged based on the fact that the more you endure the pain then you are ready so let's look at it in that context is that biblical now when god said that we're going to be persecuted i believe that the first person that should be flogged is the father that man that is flogging people he should have been beaten so well that we'll see the mark then we can say follow the leader Number one. Number two, the people that are lying down and being flogged is not about your body of saying, I am being flogged. It starts from the heart. Your brokenness starts from the heart where you are like, Lord, it's not about a human being like you flogging you to prove that you are ready. It's God that knows whether you are ready or not. You've never seen a situation whereby somebody can claim to be ready, but they're actually not ready. So it's the heart. So I will not take this out of context that maybe it's a drama presentation. So it might be a drama presentation. So to prove to everybody. And then they even have the infantry to be singing. And the, the choir is also singing, I am yours, Lord. I am yours, Lord. It's not biblical. It gives a wrong uh, word for people. The Lord has called me into the ministry. Nobody flogged me to confirm that I'm ready. Everything is a journey, you know. It's only the Holy Spirit that can help one. We are work in progress. You don't need to flog people to confirm that they are ready. These people that are being flogged, what's the purpose of the flogging? You're just inflicting pain on them. And that doesn't mean that out of all the people that are being flogged, they are actually ready. If they go outside and they flog them, they might run away. So it might just be an eye service that, oh, let's pastor, because I, don't, I won't call this pastor. Let me just assume that they are acting a drama. Oh, let them see. And there are congregation looking there, confused. I don't understand the context of that. But at the end of the day, when somebody that is, that is confused about their life, that want to give their life to Jesus, this is not what they want to see. What they want to see is love. Then they, they get discipled. After that, they know that persecution comes with it. It's normal. It's normal for you to be a child of God. You'll be persecuted. People will laugh at you. But the Lord is with you. The Lord told the apostles that don't worry about the time you'll be persecuted. The Holy Spirit in you is going to is going to say what you will say at that particular time. So when persecution comes our way, it's not about flogging. When the time comes, Holy Spirit will help you. Even that father that is beating people, will you be able to stand one stroke? Let's watch one more minute. This is very interesting. I cannot watch it anymore. Flogging is not a confirmation that you are ready for the work of God. Let's read our Bible very well. You will be persecuted, not a human being flogging me to confirm if I am ready. No, it's out of context. When you're a child of God, you'll be persecuted. Everybody will mock you. They will do a lot of things. So what? Once you have the Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit will help you. The Lord Almighty is the one that knows who is serving him. Not by flogging, not by a man or a woman looking at you and say you are ready. God will help us in the mighty name of Jesus. And above all, guess what? We're in the end time. And more of this, more of this, I tell you more of this will be shown. A lot of strange things will be, will be coming. A lot of things that you will not believe that can happen in the body of Christ. Because we're in the end time. The wolves are among the sheep. When the, the king of kings come back, he will separate the sheep from the wolf rather it will remove the wolf and gather a sheep which is you and i but that sustaining grace to remain steadfast the lord rest it upon us in the mighty name of jesus and you know it's so amazing the way god made me talk about this is a mystery and i know that there's somebody that you are listening to this right now and you are able to understand that being flogged by a man or a woman does not confirm if you are ready for the work of god it's only the Holy Spirit that does the work for us. He doesn't need to flog you physically. When the time comes, it will enable one. Each one of us is an individual race. Even the man that is flogging people, can he stay to, to be flogged? 
He should have allowed himself to be flogged. Then the people will also flog him. Then he can flog people. Then we all know that everybody is ready to be floggable. <laughs> May the Lord help us in the mighty name of Jesus. Holy Spirit will help each one of us in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us pray. Father Lord, I thank you for this great opportunity. Holy Spirit, please help us to hold steadfast to you in this end time. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Remember to like, share, and subscribe. God bless you. Shalom.